with more content that could ever be watched by a single human being, it is incredibly hard to get your videos watched, due to the amount of competition. I mean, who can compete with these? I can't eat 10,000 calories in one day, believe me, I've tried. But it looks like if you want to get your foot in the door of the algorithm, you're going to have to come up with at least one good idea. After that you can just copy what everyone else is doing. Coming up with viral ideas can be hard, but luckily I have came up with loads. I just don't use them because I prefer to have zero subscribers. It's quite indie. But to help people out, here are 20 viral ideas I can't be asked to do myself. My first idea involves things everybody loves. Bright colours, danger, and an experiment that sounds interesting but is very anticlimactic. But don't worry, people won't realise that until the end of the video. We can just pad the rest of the video out with lots of filler nonsense and a sponsor. I call this first video, throwing 10,000 bouncy balls out the window, pedestrian hospitalised, make sure to add lots of colourful bouncy balls to the thumbnail, and add some poor soul at the bottom. Everyone with too much time on their hands will want to click on this video. Food challenges are real big right now, but it feels like they've all been done. From various unhealthy eating challenges to trying bizarre diets, it's going to take some real unique food to get people's attention at this point. That's why I came up with trying the grey food diet, eating dolphin. I don't know how you would acquire the dolphin, but I imagine a really big net is cheaper than dolphin meat. In this busy world we live in, there is a big market for background noise to help people to relax slash study. To. But creating your own music for these videos isn't something that a lot of people can do. So that's why I came up with relaxing death rattles to relax slash study to. This will go viral because the death part will really resonate with people who have to study. Want to repent for your sins but you're too busy making videos? Why not kill two birds with one stone? and make an apology video. If you're lucky, you might be able to sneak a few sponsors in there. Give this video an eye-catching title like I'm so sorry and devastated and appalled and low-key crying right now. Brackets, new info on my merch as well. It takes money to make money, especially in the world of content creation. If you are a personality sponge, then you can just put a lot of money in your video and still get views. And like I said earlier, people love danger, so that's why I came up with $100 versus $100,000 cosmetic surgery. Good luck taking out that loan. Content creators share pretty much every part of their lives, from the good, the bad, and the sad. As long as it will get clicks, put it out there. Well, this next idea actually includes two videos. The first one is Sad News About Grandma. Then next week you can follow it up with 500k house tour, Grandma's Estate. The thumbnail is always the first thing that catches people's attention, so you should always put a lot of effort and attention into creating them, or you can make them absurdly unbelievable in the hopes of tricking extremely gullible people into clicking. For example, try some of these with the title, Sports Events Too Crazy to Believe. This one is just the scene from The Dark Knight Rises. Wait, this footballer is doing a skateboard trick. This Olympic skier is in front of an erupting volcano. Oh no! On the internet, pop culture is king, so why not try and incorporate interesting facts about a popular piece of media that everyone enjoys. I decided to go with top 10 times that Family Guy characters broke the Geneva Convention. Peter is often getting up to shenanigans and he does not care who he hurts on his path to having fun. Everyone loves compilations, especially if they involve someone just being themselves and being iconic. That's why I came up with the idea of Colonel Gaddafi being an absolute mood for 9 minutes straight. He was often known for his brash personality and not giving a single shit. And you can just compile that into 9 minutes. A lot of terrible things are going on in the world right now, 
But thanks to the internet, you can make a profit from discussing other people's misery. But if you really want to tap into people's morbid curiosity, at least make it fun with reacting to true crime reports, drinking game? That's right, get your white claws out and get ready to take some sips with a true crime bingo card. Do you ever watch a movie or TV show and think, I wonder what an expert would think about what is happening in this scene? Well, you're not the only one, as videos that answer these questions often gain a lot of views. That's when I came up with the idea for Real Life War Criminal Reacts to War Movies. I don't know where to find war criminals though. They're not easy to come by, and I think they're really picky about which Craigslist ads they reply to. A challenge that has become very popular recently is the manhunt videos, where friends will hunt down their friends for fun, often in video games. However, if you want to do your own manhunt video and compete with the other videos, you are going to have to up the stakes quite a bit. That's why I came up with 20 manhunters versus one unaware man at the bus stop. I hope his bus arrives soon because he needs to start moving. Quick. There's a lot of people who need help deciding what to eat. Why not help them out with a food review? I recommend you start off with something simple like chicken tonight pasta sauce food review. There's a lot of easy views if you take someone popular, take something mild they have done before and blow it way out of proportion. One of the best things to do is to pick someone with a nice reputation who won't fight back because they're an easy target. Make sure the title really points out that the viewer should hate them. I went with The Dark Side of Caillou. To be fair, apparently he's been a real shit recently. Everyone loves a good tournament. If you want them to be interesting, you need high stakes and a big reward. That's why I went with a £100,000 Soggy Biscuit Tournament. Even if you don't win the money, just be glad you didn't come last. Pardon the pun. Staying with the theme of games, everyone loves materialistic possessions. They always manage to make us happy for at least 10 minutes before we go back to being our usual miserable selves. A lot of people are making games where players compete for such possessions, but most new creators don't have that kind of money. So I came up with the idea for, if you can shoplift it, I won't pay for it. Everyone needs a helping hand sometimes, and everybody is looking to find ways to make their life easier, especially in the workplace. Now life hacks have been a trend for a while now, but not every occupation gets the life hacks treatment, for some reason. So why not make the top 10 taxidermy life hacks to really corner that market? Time for another viral relaxation video and everyone loves the wild and beautiful sounds that nature produces. But sometimes these sounds sound a bit too perfect and are missing that human touch. So why not make one hour of gentle rain, but your dad's complaining the whole time? Play it while you're trying to sleep and relax, while a grown man shouts, close that window, it's absolutely pissing it down. Do you like playing detective? Do you think you can pick out the odd person using what they say as clues? Well, get ready for the next big odd one out. Because you could make six senior citizens versus one child. Just make sure the odd one out doesn't give away anything too revealing and ruin the fun for everyone trying to play along. Every single one of these ideas has massive potential to go viral, but I don't recommend you try any of them. But that was some advice on how to go viral from a guy with no subscribers. You're welcome. Bye, have a beautiful time.